We're now going to provide some definitions relating to combining functions and comp composing functions. And so we're going to start with combining functions, and this is when we take two functions and do an arithmetic operation on their outputs. So for instance, if we say we have the sum of two functions, that means we took f of x and added it to g of x. The difference functions are f of x minus g of x. Product is f of x times g of x. And the quotient is f of x divided by g of x. And the only one of these that has any considerations is we need to make sure that g of x is not the zero function. As long as that's true, then we can do any of these operations and we get a resulting function. And that's the whole point of combining functions, is being able to take two things and have them work in some specific way together. Now, composing functions works just a little bit different. The idea here is that instead of combining them through arithmetic, what we're going to do is we're going to run, we're going to use or evaluate x first, f of x first, and then plug its output into g of x, such as g of f of x. And that'll give us some new function, which is the composite function. So this is actually how, you, if you evaluate without a calculator, or even with the calculator, if you're, if you're trying to evaluate, we tend to do just the small pieces at a time and then use the combining functions and the composite functions to build our final answer. The decom decomposing, decomposite functions, is when we start with a single function, and we break it down into basic functions. So we identify the basic functions that are done, and then we're doing decomposition. And we found our decomposite function. So this is about combining into a single function by feeding inputs to outputs, and this is about breaking down so that we separate them out and we can figure out what each individual step is. So that's our definitions for this section.